All right, guys, Perfection here. Um, today we're going to cover a topic that a lot of people ask about all the time, and, and we're going to go over cores. Um, <clears throat> we're going to, basically, I'm just going to go through, I'm going to make just, just one core. I mean, there's no sense in making a bunch, but um, anyway, the, the first thing you need to know about cores is you need to have the research. If you're going to make, like, set cores, um, you, you need to have the uh, the research under crafting for uh, six piece unlocked so you have all six pieces otherwise you're not gonna be able to make a lot of those secret core recipes um, really you should have kind of all these that I don't have unlocked um, fourth gem slot things like that core crafting luck that's a, a big one in the core crafting luck what it does is increases the lower end of the spectrum that it can be so for example when you're making your cores and I'm just going to make one because I don't want to waste a bunch of materials uh, until I get the rest of the research done, which I'm going to finish up tonight. Um, anyway, so so what you're going to do is the first thing you need to do is go into cores and pieces and make sure that you have all of the cores you need in the <clears throat> active area. You'll notice that down here at the bottom, once you get down to the last, uh, the last active core, you'll see how they go gray. Those are inactive cores. Uh, you'll need to just tap on one that you want to be active, and you'll do a swap, and you'll choose an active one to replace it with. Um, I've already got all mine that I need in place, uh, so you'll once you get those done, and I recommend going through and just go ahead and moving all of your level six cores and core pieces up into the active area. It'll make crafting your cores uh, a lot easier, and you can just kind of make a day of it crafting all your cores. Um, something else you want to make sure that your research for your duration is done. Mine is not fully done, but it's getting there. So I'm going to go ahead and, you know, make a, one piece as an example of how you're going to do this. But essentially when you're crafting cores, you're going to, you're going to notice that you have these, these various pieces, uh, these various items at the top. This is going to be weapons, helmets, armor, this is your accessories. And then these are your feet. Now, this tab over here, what this one does is your your uh, sets. So these are all cores that fall into a, some type of a set. Uh, like, for example, the Dragon Bone set, the Odin core set, and so on and so forth. Basically, those are the different variations of cores that you can choose. Same thing with pieces, except pieces are a little different. Uh, if you're on the bag, it's all the pieces you have. This here is going to be like attack boost type. This is going to be health boost. This, I feel, is kind of a, a defensive or, a, no, I'm sorry, not defensive, debuff type. Um, uh, type uh, boost. It's more, it's just ups your defenses and de uh, debuffs. <clears throat> this one here, so I'm still kind of getting into more advanced core crafting. I know that there's a lot of really neat things you can do with cores and I feel like I've seen some some people make cores that are better than the sets you can make. So really when it comes to cores it's kind of a numbers game. You pick and choose and you know come up with something that's gonna best suit your scenario. Um, I I've found, just based on research and some things that people, uh, Tails and Casey and a couple other people have told me, are things like uh, going for a missile style set is going to be better in the beginning, um, focusing strictly on one troop type. So if you're getting hit by, let's say, a range, someone that's hitting you with range, then you'll pop an infantry based um, set, and your presets are going to play a lot into that. Um <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm getting a little bit of lag today, so I'm tapping on these buttons and getting some delay. Okay, so right here are going to be your set core pieces. Uh, same thing as cores, they're going to be the pieces that fall under various sets. So at least MZ has given us a, a nice way of filtering those down. So anyway, let's go ahead and go into actually making the core. The one I'm going to make is from the Emerald Dragon set. I'm just going to make the helmet. Now, you can find these recipes for these different, uh, these secret recipes for the uh, secret core recipes on InsideGameOfWar.com. And 
I'll put a link to that in the description. But one thing that you that you want to make sure that you do is you want to have all six pieces unlocked, and you want to have you need to put them in the order that it says to put them in. So, and, and I'll show you how to identify if you're doing it correctly. Basically, we're going to go into Craft Core Equipment. And to make this set, um, we could go ahead and filter into the sets like this. So we're going to go down here to Emerald Dragon, and we're going to select the Fragmented Helm Core. If you tap on it, you can see a list of the active stat boost it's given you. And the Fragmented Helm Core already gives you pretty significant boost, obviously, compared to your normal gear. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and proceed into adding the pieces into it. Again, I apologize for the lag I'm getting this evening. I don't know what's going on with the servers. Maybe they need a restart or something. But anyway, um, I normally never get lag. Let's go ahead and pull up the pieces for the Emerald Dragon set that we're going to need. All right, so the first piece is going to be Emerald Spines for this particular one. Let's go ahead and add that. And as you tap them, You'll see they'll pop up kind of behind the text there. Uh, you can kind of see it right over in this area. And you'll see, okay, so the basically the green is what the most recent piece you've added is what it's boosted you up. So we see that this piece has given us ranged health and infantry attack and strategic infantry attack. So <clears throat> we know that that piece has given us that. Now let's go ahead and add the next piece, which is going to be a dragon eye. And we can see that that's, that gave us a ranged attack and infantry health, kind of a reverse of what the last one gave us. And the next piece is going to be a dragon wing web, I believe. Ah, right here. All right, and then the next piece is going to be emerald crystal. I just passed it. Again, you can kind of go through and see what these are adding as you add each piece. And you notice our boosts are getting pretty high up there. And, you know, I'm a fan. Uh, if you hear the phrase home-cooked cores, basically those are non-set, non-determined cores. So you just, essentially you're just throwing in pieces that are going to suit your need, what you want them to do. That's what people mean when they, when they use the phrase home-cooked cores. And like I was telling you before, I've seen some from um, some of the IK players uh, in our in our kingdom, and, and they've put together some cores that 3,500 plus um, attack boosts. It's, it's pretty insane, some of the stuff they put together. But um, anyway, let's go into, and, and I'll cover that in some more advanced core uh, videos that I do in the future. Um, I just, you know, I'm, I'm still kind of getting a little bit, I mean, I'm familiar with cores, but I'm getting deeper into it, so... You know, as I learn more and as I progress, I'll, of course, share that information. All right, Dragon Nostrils is the next piece. And then Dragon Tail Spade is the final piece. Now, this is how you know if you do it correctly. When you add that final piece, you'll see this mystery bonus pop up. All these mystery bonuses on top. Now... The mystery bonus for for this particular piece is uh, is is listed on the Inside Game of War. It, it shows you all the different uh, mystery bonuses that you get from the set, but and and they're pretty significant. But I'll be honest with you, I, like I said, I've seen some home cooks that are that blow these things out of the water. Um, it's really, you know, when you're just when you're just getting started and doing the cores, though, I'm always going to recommend just follow the sets that are there. Um, don't, if you can avoid it, don't burn, don't use pieces from the sets to make home cooked cores unless unless you have to, unless you really know what you're doing with cores. But anyway, um, let's go ahead and craft. It's going to cost me 12 mil to craft, and the salvager set is going to make a world of difference for you when you're crafting cores. Um, 
it, it's pretty pretty huge on the the differences you get. Anyway, this particular we get an hour and eleven minutes out of this core, um, and once this lag finally goes away, all right, it's crafting. Let's pop over here. We're gonna speed this thing up a little bit. I'm not gonna wait fourteen days. I'm sorry. Let me pick up some more speed ups because I'm running low on those too. But I kind of want to show you what the end result is. So. <clears throat> All right, and here's what we got. So this extra bonus C, we picked up 56% extra on the infantry health debuff. So we're sitting at 100 and about 111, 112% uh, infantry health debuff. Um, the health, uh, same thing with strategic. Um, we got some ranged health bonus. I mean, when you start looking at these extra bonuses you pick up from these set bonuses, or these, uh, these secret recipe pieces is pretty substantial like infantry attack the default roll on that was 130.47 and we picked up and we picked up more on the extra bonus than we had from the from the uh, the one the the standard creation of the item but anyway let's uh, let's go into view item here and let's look at this what this does I mean look at these bonuses Infantry attack, 283%. Strategic infantry, 279. Um, ranged attack was 301%. Now, you take this, this type of bonus, for instance, and uh, you gem out this piece of gear, and, uh, and, you know, kind of specific to what you're wanting to do with this piece, uh, this particular core, and you add on top of that what you got. This is the helm. You add the chest, you add the boots, you add the weapon, three accessories, all with these type of, you know, stat outputs. And, you know, the set bonuses on these, you know, on these are unreal. And, I mean, like you're picking up, you know, 58% health, you're picking up 20% debuffs. And then these specialized set bonuses is where you're really going to see some numbers, you know, you're going to see some major increases in numbers. And, uh, and you know, I'll put together some sets and I'll show you show you all the type of uh, the type of increases you can see from it. But this is just a, a brief example of you know creating some cores, and you know you have fun with it. Cores are fun, and it's really fun when you come up with some home cooked stuff that that other people can't match. It's just it, it, the feeling you get from it's pretty pretty substantial. So so. Uh, Anyway, um, yeah, have fun with cores, and let me know if you if you need if you have any questions or anything like that, and and I'll uh, you know, I'll invite you to a Q and A session that we do from time to time in our line chat, and uh, yeah, just let me know in the comments or send me a message on Google Plus. It's the same. You can add me from YouTube. Um, subscribe. You know, you'll see uh, any new content that I upload, and you know, feel free to let me know what you want to see, any other information you might need. But other than that, I'm going to go ahead and call this the end of the video, and we will see you all next time.